My name is Vicki Tashmorelli. My pronouns are she, her. I'm the digital communications specialist for the College of Engineering at the University of Delaware, where I manage the main college site, seven department sites, and a whole bunch of research center sites. Today, I'm gonna to talk about using form builders to create front end views. But first, apologies for my terrible pun in my presentation title, but my son loves two things, Star Wars and puns. One of the things I discovered when I first started working on the College of Engineering sites is that the directories for staff and faculty were all built differently. The main engineering site used a plugin called Team Showcase. Some of the sites took advantage of the Divi page builder to create a nice grid layout. But the problem here is that once you try to add a new person, you have to shift everyone around. Not too bad, since we don't add new faculty members very often. But some of the other sites use formidable forms to collect and display the faculty information. This was somewhat new to me, since I only ever use forms for collecting contact information, not to display front end content. But the more I looked at it, the more it made sense. I'd often use tool set types and views in building sites at my previous agency job, and it even built a plant and tree directory for the University of Delaware's Botanic Gardens. So the concept seemed similar, only without having to create a custom post type. But what about advanced custom fields? Of course, a lot of the same things could be done using ACF. But to be honest, I never really learned it. One reason I stuck with using forms with front end views was an economic one. We have a super tight budget for our sites and try not to spend additional money on plugins if we don't have to. We had a grandfathered lifetime license for formidable forms. So while formidable offers some new visual builders reviews, and even a directory add-on, we don't have the budget to purchase an annual license. The other reason is that several sites I manage on our campus press installation, which is pretty locked down theme-wise, but I can use formidable forms to create things like directories and publications lists without having to create custom templates that I can't upload anyway. So here's a couple of case studies on how I'm using forms with front-end views. Our mechanical engineering department has a design studio, which is several lab spaces with things like 3D printers, testing equipment, electronic kits, and a machine shop. These spaces are managed with student TAs who change each semester. So earlier I said building each person module in a Divi layout wasn't too terrible. In this case, it was more of a pain to add and remove students. Not only did they want them to appear on directory page, but their contact information appears on each space they TA. So I was having to go in and update several pages each semester with new names, emails, and pictures. I decided that using a form and front end views would simplify this process since I could enter the info once in the back end and have it appear in all the appropriate places with just a few lines of code and short codes. So the TA information form is pretty simple. There's first and last name, locations, title, email, LinkedIn URL, and their headshot, if they have one. And then on the back end for the directory, I'm using CSS Flex to create the responsive rows and columns. There's some conditional code that if something is missing, that field won't display, or if they don't have a headshot, it'll fall back to a stock image. The list view that appears in each location is also pretty basic HTML but each listing is filtered with a parameter that is passed along with the shortcode. That lets me use one view and filter the content on the fly. I just have to add the name of the location in the shortcode, and it will only display the TAs with that location in their entry or fall back to a message saying, no TAs assigned at this time. And this is what it looks like. The second project I wanted to show you is for our senior engineering design celebration. Since we had to move the celebration online in December 2020, we needed a virtual program to direct the attendees to the projects and their Zoom presentations. The celebration was run like a pitch competition, with each team presenting their work to sponsors and attendees with a short video and then taking questions via Zoom. All the information had been collected in a spreadsheet and then rather than hand code some tables, use Divi modules to create the program layout, plus 50 separate pages for each project, 
I was able to create a couple of forms in Permittable to import the content and then display the information in a few different ways. So there are tables that display the list of projects for each Zoom room, a tiled gallery of the projects that links to the individual project pages. There's also a searchable table of all of the projects that lets you search by student name or by sponsor name. One form contained most of the information for each project with a few lookup fields for sponsors, times, room numbers. The sponsor form included the sponsor name and description with the option to add a logo. The tiled gallery is created with a few lines of code and some CSS. In formidable views, the before content acts as the container and the content area is what gets looped through for each entry. The individual team profile uses a bit more HTML to create each profile page. And now that I have all these form fields and views already set up, I could quickly import the new data for this year's projects and create a sponsor night page and listing. And if the senior design celebration is held online again this year, I can easily update the content and the site is done. Thank you.